Hey guys, what's up? Uh, before we get into today's video, I just want to do a quick shout out. Um, I said before that we are going to maybe do a little mini series on DayZ. So for those of you who don't know what DayZ is, it's basically a big uh, open world game. And yeah, a lot of PvP involved. Well, not a lot, but yeah. Base building, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to be setting up a server soon. Um, and I'm going to be making some videos on that. Don't worry, I'm still going to be making Warframe videos. This is just going to be something a little extra on the side that I enjoy doing. So... Those of you who are enjoying my Warframe content, don't worry about that. There's still going to be some uh, some Warframe videos coming out soon. Um, but yeah, uh, so in our server that we're going to put up, it's uh, going to be called Ces Nation, just because it's going to be named after the plane, the Cessna, because we love Cessnas, why the hell not? Um, there's going to be uh, custom uh, maps uh, built by my friend who's going to be owning the server. Uh, custom traders. We're going to have wandering AI that are going to be about the place, shooting at people, making things a bit more interesting. Uh, single coin currency, so yeah, nice economy on the go. Um, hopefully it won't be too hard uh, to buy things. Oh, bit of lag. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys want to join, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to leave the uh, details of the server in the description. Uh, and yeah, it should be up um, probably tomorrow when this video comes out. So look out for that. If you guys want to join or if you want any more info on how to join, then please let me know in the comments. And I'll be more than happy to help. So yeah, uh, we'll go back to Warframe now and uh, enjoy the video, guys. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Redeemer Prime specifically uh, in relation to Eidolon Hunts. I got a question about how this was doing so much damage. Um, actually, it was how, how, how is it doing so many red crits um, as base? So I'm going to sort of explain how this is all working. Uh, so I've come into the Simulacrum and we're going to just take a look at the build and how it's all working. I'm just running normal Vault um, DPS build. I'm not even going to be running Corrosive Projection here, just so you guys can see what's going on. So, if we take a look at the Redeemer here, um, this is the build that I was using. I've showed this off in my previous video as Vault, uh, playing DPS. So, we're going to run through it quickly. Uh, so, High Noon, uh, just for our yeah nice little heavy attacks there. It's a nice one to use. Um, sacrificial Steel, Sacrificial Pressure, then the two Molten Impact Struck and Touch for Radiation Damage. Organ Shatter for that increased crit damage. Our Riven here, which isn't that great, but it's... It does the job. Uh, killing Blow, extra melee damage and extra heavy attack wind up speed, and our Corrupt Charge for some initial combo counter. Uh, this is really nice as well. So, what I'll do, I'm just going to quickly explain this build. Obviously, Sacrificial Pressure and Sacrificial Steel uh, both have the plus uh, damage to Sentience. So, in this little test that I'm going to do in the Simulacrum, we're actually going to be doing a lot more damage. Uh, well, no, sorry, we're doing less damage in the Simulacrum than we will do against Eidolons. Because obviously you won't have that damage against Sentience. Um, sacrificial Steel, you can see here, uh, plus 275% uh, crit chance, which is times by 2 for heavy attacks. So, the way you want to think of it, the Redeemer Prime actually has base crit of 24%, as you can see. Uh, so when I put on uh, Sacrificial Steel, that's going to add 66% damage. Well, 66% 66 crit chance, sorry. And whenever we hit a critical hit, it's going to double that. Uh, sorry, not a critical hit. And whenever we hit a, a heavy attack, it's going to double that amount. So 66% becomes plus 132%. So 24% plus 132% is 156%. <laughs> Something like that. My maths is terrible at the moment. And then obviously with this, it's exactly the same. We get the double for the heavy attacks. This is going to push us over that 200% crit chance uh, comfortably. So we're going to be... This, so this gives us an extra 40... Yeah, for about 41% on there. So double that. It's going to be 82% on a heavy attack. So our heavy attack is going to be dealing... is going to have roughly 230 to 240% crit chance. Uh, so it's going to hit hard. Um... It'll be at the higher end of that as well, closer to 240% crit chance. Um, and yeah, essentially the reason that we hit so many red crits, or the reason that you see so many red crits, is that the heavy attack on the Redeemer fires 10 pellets. It's a shotgun. Uh, and the way that your visuals will work when you're looking at damage numbers, the highest damage pellet that you fire, only the highest damage number pellets that you fire will show up. Um, so if you hit a really, really heavy red crit, then that's the one that's gonna that's gonna show up that you kill the idol on. You'll sometimes see when you're using this build that you only see 
one number come up when you hit it and that's because one of the pellets you fired has done enough damage to kill the limb by itself in effect um but yeah if you actually uh look at like fire against an enemy where it won't kill kill them in one shot and you stack their their health up massively it's pretty hard to do that actually with this weapon but you, you'll see a lot more orange crits coming through there'll be a bit of a, a variation in orange and, and red crits when you're looking at killing the idolon though remember as well that you are receiving the buff from harrow as well so if you've got a, a four-man squad then you're going to receive a massive that extra 50 percent basically puts you up to what nine 290 percent crit chance so only 10 percent of the time are you going to hit an orange crit and that's like 10 pellets you're always firing red crits like eight or nine red crits so yeah it's definitely worth thinking about but what we're going to do here i'm just going to come over and let's spawn some stuff in uh we'll do the corruptor bombard since these can mimic uh the eidolon strength comfortably so obviously eidolons also have the triple radiation buff since their limbs are alloy armor um note that i don't have any corrosive projection buffs on or anything here so i'm going to spawn in these guys and we're going to pause their ai just so we can see what's going on um so if we come over uh i'm going to quickly hop into my settings here just so i can show you guys what's going on um so if i go to my key bindings you can see i've uh, got my where is it there you go my heavy attack is bound to mouse button three just so i can wind up really quickly i don't have to get um you know i don't have to do any kind of hold combo to, to get this to work so i'm just gonna hit fire so you saw there that actually we hit a load of orange crits there um rather than a single red crit to kill him and if we keep testing obviously a few more red crits there more red crits sometimes you get yeah so it, it's you never really see more than sort of four or five red crits there you go that was actually a pretty lucky one but there you go only orange oranges and reds so we don't actually kill him in one there you see but yeah it is actually um it's not as many red crits as you think it's just that one red crit even two red crits is enough to take down the idol on them so if you do happen to hit if if even one or two of those pellets out of your 10 on the redeemer is strong enough you're not going to see any other pellets come up which is why in that video uh where someone asked that question we were only seeing yeah you were seeing a lot of red crits um so what i'm going to do here is we'll quickly hop into the planes uh and we'll see if we can yeah we'll see if we can take down just a few limbs solo um and yeah then we'll probably end the video there okay guys so we are coming into the planes now um what i'm going to do here we're just going to take down the terrorists we're not going to bother um faffing about with anything else uh i'm not even taking a replac prism here i've just got um my usual uh idol on hunting one in a squad so this really isn't any kind of speed run um so I'm just going to take down uh, the Terrorist here without using the Replac. And yeah, you guys will see just how much damage uh, this thing can do. Um, so bear in mind that we've only got one corrosive Projection here, obviously, because it's just me. We got a bit unlucky with crits at the start there. So first shield's going to be a wee bit slow, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah. You'll notice as well, um, right now you can see I've got a few stacks but they did just reset so we're back down to one and there we go so you can see there there was a, bit, a mix of a uh, red and orange crits so it's it's not always a load of red crits it is fairly mixed and obviously when you have that harrow buff you're going to do a lot more damage and you're going to have a lot higher chance to hit red crits which is probably why um you were seeing that in my video uh, unless it was three man which it might well have been in which case it's still uh, just a matter of luck really um but yeah if you hit a red crit, that'll come up. That's the whole point. Um, yeah, it's pretty insane damage. Um, you guys have probably figured that out by now. Um, for those uh, people thinking that this video might mean that I do solo runs, I really don't. Uh, this is a really tragic attempt as well, since I'm not even using a Replac Prism. But basically, I'm not going to be doing a solo solo speed runs just because I, I don't enjoy them i prefer playing in a squad um maybe sometime in the future if i change my mind i'll do it but right now i just i just much prefer playing in a group i find it a lot more fun to play like that so 
unless you guys convince me otherwise, I'm probably not going to be doing a solo speed run um, for that reason. But yeah, if uh, this answers your question about how I was hitting so many red crits with the uh, the Redeemer, please leave a like uh, and yeah, let me know. That'd be great. I can always do some more videos on this kind of stuff. It's uh, it's nice finding uh, these nice builds that are a bit sort of off-meta. Uh, it's it's quite fun. That's what I enjoy about Warframe, finding builds. So, yeah. I think the next video I'll try and get up will be probably another frame um, guide. Potentially Wisp um, or Garuda, depending on which one I get the hang of first and manage to get a six cap on. But yeah, if you guys want uh, any more videos um, on this kind of stuff, then do let me know. Um, but we'll just end here. We're about to try and one-shot him. I don't think I do one-shot him here, but bear in mind there is only one corrosive projection, and I'm not very close to the idol on here at all. So he's very, very low there. But yeah. We'll probably end the video here. Um, again, if you guys have any suggestions or any comments or any questions, please leave them. Leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.